I am in love with Amazon. Like, if I could marry it, I might. Really. For reals. Not even kidding. Hey guys, it's Wendy Valencia. If you are new to my channel, my husband Mauricio and my daughter Melina and I are on the Dave Ramsey plan to get ourselves out of debt and to have secure financial futures. So we talk a lot about finances on this channel. If that is something that interests you, make sure you click that big old red subscribe button down below and then click that bell notification icon and you will be alerted every time I upload. Here's what's going on. My end of the month budget videos have gotten crazy long like more than 20 minutes long and nobody wants to listen to me talk about finances for 25 minutes at a time so what i have decided to do is in a couple of areas i'm going to go a little more in depth and one of those areas that i am going in depth is going to be our online purchasing because as you all know i am kind of addicted to amazon i'm a huge amazon fan it makes my life so much easier the vast majority of our Christmas presents came from Amazon or other online shops. This video will encompass the online category in our budget. Now, this month, the online category in our budget had three items. It had Amazon, it had Sephora, and it had the Winter Walk of Light. We did purchase the Winter Walk of Light tickets. They ended up being $34 for the three of us because we went in the middle of the week when it was slightly cheaper. So yay, that was a financial win and we loved it. It was such a fantastic day. It is not quite the end of the month and I have not yet ordered my makeup from Sephora. I need to get on that. But as of today, I have not ordered it. And then there's Amazon. And now these Amazon purchases are not Christmas Amazon purchases. I will be discussing all of those in another video, but these purchases specifically are things that don't relate to Christmas. I will tell you that we do have one thing in our cart right now. Mauricio has lost a glove and we have looked everywhere for it. We cannot find it. It has obviously fallen out of his pocket or whatever. So we have another pair of gloves in the cart for $13.99. So although I am telling you that I spent $168.50 on Amazon, I actually am going to spend slightly more than that because again, it is not the end of the month. But other than that, we should not be spending another cent online until January, hopefully. Cross your fingers. In Melina's category, we had to buy her a couple of dresses. Well, we could have just bought her one, but you know, her mom, she likes her daughter to be fashionable. I'm gonna be honest, I'm gonna lay it out there. We spent a lot more than we should have on a Christmas dress and a dress for her piano recital. So I will be going over those dresses at the end of the month, but I'll give you a little sneak peek here. These are the two dresses that I bought for Melina. I am in love with the plaid one love this company has the most amazing kids clothes oh my goodness and we did buy a couple of other things from this company to give melina clothes wise for christmas which i will be discussing in the christmas video but this pink sweater and this plaid dress are what we bought melina for her recital i'm sure you will ask why would you buy your daughter a new dress for a piano recital did you see that? I'm sure you will ask, why would you buy your daughter a new dress for a piano recital? I actually just gave myself judgmental side eye. That was side eye for me. So let's get back to the story. We originally were going to have her wear something in her closet and the recital required that the dress be longer than her knees. And unfortunately, the vast majority of her dresses hit her just above her knees, some a little higher than that because she keeps growing taller. So I had seen this dress on Amazon and I thought it was adorable and I wanted to check it out. So I bought it. Shame on me. And of course I bought it. So that means I had to have the sweater to go with it, right? So yeah, I am actually going to put this dress on my Amazon page. The company is called Hope and Henry and oh my goodness, they have the 
most adorable clothes and they are like super high quality. Um, they're a little bit on the spendier side, but considering the clothes I normally gravitate to, they're completely reasonably priced. So yes, go ahead, give me flack for buying two dresses for my daughter. The other dress I bought for her, it's beaded, it's beautiful, I love it. She is wearing it with an adorable little gold sweater and she is gonna be getting her pictures with Santa in this dress. So when I purchased these things, I knew I was spending outside my budget, completely cognizant of the fact that I was spending outside my budget because I had completely forgotten that Elena needed a Christmas dress for this year. So shame on me, but it has gone into my spreadsheet, so I will not forget again. For next November, buy Melina a Christmas dress in there. And the other thing I forgot that goes with Christmas dresses, shoes, tights, slips, hair stuff. This ended up costing a pretty penny. And now don't be so mean down in the comments down below because I am well aware of, I kind of went a little crazy. Yeah, I am way aware of that. And you know, it is what it is. Next year it'll be in the budget. I am remembering that she needs all these things in the budget. The very first thing is a slip. I wanted a very simple slip and you would not believe the slips that they make for six-year-olds out there. They're not appropriate. So I just looked for a very simple Empire Waist slip that would go under the white dress because while it's not see-through, I do, we're, we're a modest family, relatively speaking. The slip was $15.99 and yes, I could have gotten a cheaper one, but it didn't look like something I wanted my six-year-old wearing. The second thing I got her also pertains to the Christmas outfits. It was a hair bow in white and gold for $6.99. The next thing I bought was a set of three pairs of microfiber tights for Melina. She went through a spell in the last two weeks where she ripped holes in all of her tights. Now, granted, they were a little bit on the smaller side. She has just gone through yet another growth spurt. So all of her tights are getting very short. And so in order to pull them up, I was having to pull them really tight. And I think that's why they were ripping. So she ripped almost all of her white tights. So I went ahead and bought her some more white tights. And I really like the Dan Skin brand because they're, they're soft and they're durable and they don't pill. I find that when I spend less money on tights, they tend towards pilling and I really hate tights that pill. The next thing I purchased, this is something that I have wanted for months and months and months. It is one of those bag rack clip things and it basically holds Ziploc bags or I would, I'm would i using it for a sealer bag thing. But this was a two pack for $5.69. So it's making my life easier and that's always a good thing because I cannot stand it when I go to put raw meat in my sealer bags and it gets on the outside. I can't stand it, ew. The next two items on my list are jewelry re related. I am having a lot of problems with my jewelry tarnishing and that's because I haven't polished it in a really, really long time. So I bought a silver cloth polisher and a silver dip polisher. And the silver dip I use for the jewelry I purchased in Mexico that is likely not pure silver. It cleans up really well with silver uh, dip polish and you know, the jewelry is not super, super expensive. So, you know, if it, if it does damage to it, it's not a huge deal. The silver polishing cloth is what I use for items that are either have stones in them or are higher quality silver that I am worried about damaging. The cloth was $6.99 and the dip was $6.44. And then, as you know, in November, I bought some violets for my office and I wanted to buy some violet foods. So I bought a little bottle of violet food for $8.91. I'm very excited. This is not a very exciting haul. And then my office smells like an office and I want it to smell pretty. It shouldn't smell like an office though. So I, I do obviously do not want to put a fragrance burner of any sort or a plug-in into the wall in the office. So I get these Yankee candle fragrance spheres frequently and they last about two months I've found. Uh, the first month they're really good and then after that they the smell starts going away but they last about two months. So that was $4.97 and you just open the container and just put it out. And so what I generally do is I put it in way behind me when I first open it and it gradually move it forward closer to the door. 
as the month goes on and the fragrance lessens. Now, this purchase was not mine. This purchase was actually hilarious. Um, my Mauricio was helping my parents donate some items and he found a vintage Polaroid camera. And he thought this was the coolest thing in the history, man. Don't ask me, I don't get it. But he did and he had to have film for it. So he bought some film for it and was running around snapping pictures, acting like a total dork. And oh my gosh, he came in here one day while I was working on the computer and he was he was pretending to take selfies. Tell me about your okay. new camera. <laughs> Where did you find that? Uh, and some stuff, but uh, I just got the, the film for it. The film for it. It's on the Amazon. Thank you guys for Amazon. We had two days. Be ready for taking some shots. Selfie. There you go. Plus. You gotta do a real selfie with the duck face. You know what a duck face is? Uh, I don't. Me don't do that. Don't get this Did you just say me don't do that? Yeah. So, even, so even, even if you give you, me even if you give me five more, <laughs> <laughs> if if you take a selfie from down there, everybody's just gonna be looking up your nose. I guess you had to be there. I thought it was funny, but you know I find Mauricio humorous, which is kind of why I married him. The next two items are things that I purchased. They were crackers. I, my father smoked a ton of salmon for me and I frequently take salmon to work. So I portioned it up in, in week servings for use when it is time for me to do my lunches. And I got some crackers to keep in the office. And the first set is organic flaxseed crackers. When you look at this, it looks like there's only one bag, but there were actually three different flavors in this bag. I don't know why it showed up like this, but there was a dill, a plain, and a sea salt, I think. And then the next one, these are my favorite crackers. The, this was a package of two, and it's just waspa, uh, waspa, waspa, crisp and light crackers. And these, I love, they are low, lower carb crackers. They are not low carb. Low carb people do not eat these. These are not low carb, but they are like three crackers for 14 grams of carb. And that's off my top of my head. So I could be slightly off, but I vaguely remember it was 14 grams of carb for carbs for three crackers, but which is really quite low for crackers. So I really like these crackers. They're super crunchy. They don't have a really strong flavor. So they are the perfect vehicle for smoked salmon. And then I bought these uh, cookies and art fine mesh strainers for $15 and 78 cents. And I really was just looking for the biggest one, but I decided to go ahead and buy all three just so I would have them. The biggest one I used, I made um, turkey noodle soup. I had frozen two turkey carcasses that we had finished off after Thanksgiving and I was gonna make stock for it and I didn't get around to it, but I had frozen them, so it wasn't a big deal. So I got the big old stock pot out and I put the whole turkey pieces in there and boiled it for like, I don't know, six hours. It was crazy. With some carrots and onions and bay leaves and seasoning and blah, blah, blah. You know, you know how to make stock. Everybody knows how to make stock. So I wanted to have a strainer because I don't like things floating in my stock. I put big long stocks of rosemary in it and when you cook it the rosemary comes off into the leaves and it separates the leaves from the sticks. So I wanted to be able to filter that out. So the biggest one I could put over my 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 bowl and pour the stock in. And then the last and super annoying purchase of the month. This was unplanned. I am not happy about it, but it had to be done. Didn't I just buy a curling iron? I'm going to look back on my videos because I know I just bought a brand new curling iron within the last year. It died. It For the last two weeks, I've had to like wiggle it and shake it to get it to start and heat up. And then one morning, there's obviously a loose wire in it. So off to the trash it went and I had to buy a new one. And so I did some research on this one and I, I wanted to stick on the lower end of the cost spectrum, but I did go ahead and purchase this Babeless Pro, Bobless, Babeless, I don't know. 
it's this one. <laughs> Uh, titanium spring curling iron and I actually really really like it it is not as tight of a grip it's much smoother pulling through my hair I, I like it the only thing I do not like about it is the tip gets really hot and so I usually you know hold on one end while I twirl with the other and so it's really kind of hot to do that with I'm getting used to it but it is kind of hot so but other than that, it seems to be working well. I don't know what my deal with hair styling items. They don't last for me. Maybe I overuse them. I'm a heavily styled girl. And you will see that the tortilla warmer that I had planned on buying, I did not buy. And here is why. It was $9.99 when I put it in my cart. And it was up to $17.99 when I actually went to buy it. And I refused to pay that much for a tortilla warmer. I have a wish list for things for next month's budget. So I put it back in there and if the price comes down next month, then I will go ahead and buy it. But if it stays high, too bad, so sad, not getting it. If you are new to my channel, make sure you click on my big laugh and face to subscribe and I will put up two videos so you can keep on watching. This video is my latest one and this one is one YouTube picked out just for you. So I'll see you in the next one. See ya.